Yeah, that form. That form. <laughs> my Muay Thai story begins with being interested in way too many things for my own good. I got a big list of hobbies, a lot of things that I like to do, playing soccer, working on cars. Just taking the eight millimeter. And photography and making videos, which this is the example for that. And this blessing, but also curse of being interested in way too many things for my own good has both led me to trying a bunch of interesting things, many of which in the moment I might have thought were going to be something new and transformative that I would stick with, but also a lot of things that were just one and done, like consistently reading books, which I haven't done since like sixth grade, where I did it for one summer to get free tickets to Six Flags or something like that, I don't remember. And this made me start thinking and reflecting about Muay Thai and how it has been something that has stuck. And it brought up the question in my mind, what makes trying something new actually stick? In all honesty, this started with the OG, my sibling, who really brought this into our adult lives, starting first with boxing and then venturing off into Muay Thai and sharing a lot of their stories with me. We all did Taekwondo when we were younger, but that was like seventh grade. I don't really feel like it counted. It just so happened that our belt promotions happened every single time we needed to renew our contract. But inspired by my older sibling, now being able to craft and create my own martial arts journey, I ventured off to find a gym in my neighborhood. And I looked at a variety of places doing what any millennial slash I guess I'm also a Gen Zer does, which is Googling and looking at reviews and Yelp, nobody uses Yelp anymore. But looking at reviews to see if these places were good and I wasn't going to be paying for a gym at Top Bullshito, which brought me to Carlson Gracie. And they gave me a free trial class, which I enjoyed and liked for the most part. And I actually waited a week before coming back and they technically informally gave me a second free trial class. And then after that, I started coming weekly, signed up for it and the rest is history. But what actually made this new hobby stick? What was different about this that so many other things seem to have lacked? Cue the community. On the first day, the first day, I felt welcomed and, though terrified of getting my head knocked off, at home. And the community there has been extremely accepting, very welcoming, I already said that, it's redundant, but you know, welcoming 2x, gotta emphasize it. And everybody has a really good vibe and is willing to teach you as well. They're not just gonna start bashing on you like nothing. They're gonna actually teach you some stuff and give you some pointers and some tips and tricks. And we have to highlight Andre Mediz, who is the lead instructor for the Muay Thai program at Carlson Gracie. And he is the real deal. He's great, he's an amazing instructor. He was there the first day that I was and he has a love and passion and dedication to Muay Thai that you could just feel it in every single class that he instructs. Fast forward to 2022, I've been doing Muay Thai Cross and Gracie now for a year and four months and I wouldn't give it up for anything. It's part of my routine, it's part of my life, it's part of me. And like I've already said in this video, the rest is history. And that is my Muay Thai story. We do have a fight night coming up this Saturday. If you're interested in many of the cool community, come on by, it's a great time. More information will be down below in the description. But yeah, that's everything. My Muay Thai story, did, did I forget anything? No, that's it. Cool, thanks for listening and watching. Bye.